Hi all, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Eating Out in Vegas. I am so sorry. It is taken a while for me to get back in the habit of things, of starting recording and whatnot. We've still been going out to eat, but we have had such a hectic, hectic schedule going on. So it has been difficult trying to get to this point with recording. So I do apologize. You're going to see quite a few videos coming out in succession until I get myself caught up. Um, we've done mostly repeats. Okay. So I want to do things a little backwards and go with one of our recent visits. We had um, some family come into town from Colorado, and we had liked this place so much that I wanted to introduce them to it as well, and it was far. It was born and raised, and um, we had a few of the same things that we had before. We did do a little bit of a twist on one of them, so we have some new reviews for this. Now, the unfortunate part of this was I was looking forward to the fantastic service from Enzo, and unfortunately, the day that we went, Enzo was not there, and neither was the regular staff. What was going on was they were celebrating their holiday event, so one of the, um, so they ended up getting staff from their other location to come in and take care of things. Now, I'm not going to say that the service was bad. It wasn't. It was just different, and understandably so, because you're getting people that are coming in without an everyday familiarity with the customers and, and the establishment. So, that being said, it we had a couple little things so one of the first things was was we had bar nachos my husband went for the bar nachos again and as i stated in the previous video there are actually two different types of nachos that they have there one is more on an appetizer level the other is more on a meal level so he went back to doing the bar nachos and previously he had had um Oh, he had chorizo on his previous nachos. This time he decided to do it with the machaca. So what the bar nachos has on it is it has queso, it's got a cheddar jack cheese, it's got avocado, sour cream, jalapeno, and then of course the different meats you can choose from. Again, he chose machaca. And I would say that this is probably the most disappointed part of the visit only because when the nachos came out, they were burnt. And you will see in the picture. It's not just a little burnt. They're not just a little charred. These things are black. And my disappointment is, okay, you know, sometimes that happens. The cook should have never let it go out like that. So shame on him, first and foremost. Shame on him for letting those go out because it was not acceptable the way that it looked. Um, then, you know, you got to nail the server for this one too, because when the server went to bring them out, he should have looked at him himself and said, dude, are you, are you sure you want to send these out? He should have conferred with the cook and said, are you sure you want this to go out? Cause these are burnt. It may come back. Now, I don't know. I wasn't in the kitchen. I don't know if this conversation took place. However, there was still a lack of ownership to what had happened in preventing this from going out because ultimately they made it to the table. So that's the disheartening part. Now, my husband has worked in the industry before when he was younger and dealing with, you know, restaurants and when food comes back. Some of the cooks tend to get a little angry. We'd all like to hope that that doesn't happen. And, you know, so there's that hesitation with sending it back. But I couldn't see not sending it back even 
you know, with thinking that. I mean, we'd all like to hope, hey, this is a well, you know, known establishment. They've got a good clientele. And, you know, I would like to say I think that most people would never attempt to even do something that foolish. I think that there's just a few, a select few people out there that are idiots that might. So on good faith, you know, we went ahead and we just, we called the server back and said, hey, you know, these are burnt. We actually had two different servers that were coming and waiting on us. So we did get, you know, they were, they were attentive to us. And, um, you know, we just explained to them, these are burnt, you know, can we send this back? And there wasn't a problem with it. And they came back, they came back pretty quick and they were okay the second time. They looked great. They tasted great. So we were very happy with that. It's just, you know, the initial thing, it perhaps shouldn't have made it to that level. And again, this these are not the normal people that are there. These are from a different area coming in, not to say that excuses it because it doesn't, but it is what it is. That's what happened and it got rectified and everything was great. So I don't by any means, um, harbor any, uh, ill feelings towards the place. I still absolutely love this place. I think they have fantastic food and, you know, again, I mean, just going off of the first um, deal and then our experience with this, I mean, they've got good service. So it's just, you know, we were looking forward to having Enzo. Uh, I don't know if I'd mentioned before in the first video, but Enzo had actually recognized my daughter and knew what it was that she ordered and whatnot. So, you know, again, there's just that personal touch with the normal staff and you know, so that just kind of makes the experience a little bit better. So, um, moving on, my sister-in-law uh, and I ended up choosing the same thing. We both had the Dragon Ball Z. And again, clever play on words. I absolutely loved um, the overall uh, of the dish. Now, with my sister-in-law, she doesn't do hot quite as well as I do, and so it was a little bit too spicy for her. And I will say, I, I do hot, and I was having to kind of take a break here and there just to kind of give my palate a rest and, and let it recover for a minute, and then I dive right back in. So it is spicy. So if you are weak of heart with that sort of thing, do not get this dish because it has the heat. I mean, I absolutely loved it. What it contained was a sriracha glazed chicken, white rice, cabbage, carrots, scallions. It had a sriracha uh, aioli, aioli, sorry, uh, some yum yum sauce and unagi sauce. And if you're a friends nerd like I am, Unagi. Yeah, I'm a dork. Anyways, um, fantastic dish. Was very happy with it. Then my mother-in-law ended up having the buffalo chicken mac and cheese. She's a very light eater. She, you know, was okay with the buffalo chicken. It wasn't too spicy for her. So that was a good thing. And, um, but she just doesn't eat a whole lot. So she mostly munched on just the mac and cheese portion of it. Um, but she was very happy with it. She really liked it. She liked the flavor and everything. Now my brother-in-law ended up having prime rib sliders. Now, clearly this place is known for their sliders. It's, I'm kind of going to say, I guess their, their main feature. These other stuff are favorites or their bar bites or whatnot, but their bar sliders are kind of their thing. Um, they have several different kinds. The one that my brother-in-law chose to get was the prime rib slider. And he said they, it was juicy. He said it was very good. The only complaint here is that there's only two sliders. So if you're going to go and have sliders, um, 
if you're looking for a snack, that would probably be more um, appropriate would be just to have the two sliders because they are a la carte so you're not getting any fries so you have to order something you know else with it uh they do have a challenge however that they state put your money where your mouth is and what it is is they want you to finish 16 sliders and a mountain of anchor fries and if you can do that in 30 minutes or less 30 minutes, I think, is kind of pushing it a little bit. But if you can finish it in 30 minutes or less, then the meal is on them and you get a t-shirt. Otherwise, you don't finish and it's 75 bucks. So, again, put your money where your mouth is if you dare. You know, if anybody happens to go there and does this and is successful, by all means, please contact me. Let me know. You know, leave some messages in the video so that I, you know, can congratulate you if you were successful on this. Because I'd love to meet somebody that was actually able to do it. Um, the only other thing that we did was we ordered um, some uh, miso glazed edamame. It had a great flavor to it. And everybody that tried them thought that it had a good flavor. I'm one of those, I like to order edamame. Um, and I'll sit there and just pop them into my mouth and, you know, go on. With the glaze, however, it turns a fantastically fun finger food into a mess. <laughs> So, I mean, not a big deal if you're, you know, if you're sitting down and, and, you know, got your napkins going with you and everything, um, you know, but it, it's not an on the go thing because of the glaze. I think what I would like to see with something like that, and granted, I'm sure that it's not as fun or whatnot, but I'd actually like to see the beans from the edamame just loose with that glaze on it so that you don't have that um, mess with your hands and, and dealing with that and everything. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. You know, thanks to my um, family from Colorado for coming down and visiting us. And they were here, you know, to spend time with, um, you know, the rest of the family and go to the Christmas party that we throw and you know it was a good time great getting to see them you know my husband's uh, parents getting older um, you know the, the trip isn't as easy as it was before and you know it's quite a drive and you know and then it get get expensive with the flying and stuff so we're happy that they were able to make it down here for us and share with our party and everything and glad that they got back safe and that, um, you know, they were interested enough to be able to um, do the review with us. I liked seeing their take on different things and and um, knowing what they thought of the food and a place that, you know, we think pretty highly of and whatnot. And so, you know, thank you guys for coming and spending time with us. And thank you to all of my watchers. And, you know, let me know what you guys think of the video. Please subscribe, share, um, you know, hit that like button. If you subscribe, hit the bell button so that you get notified each time that I put up a video. And you guys, happy holidays and enjoy the time with your family the way that we do. And be safe out there. Just have a great time. Thanks, guys. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks for watching.